dimensional analysis. This stuff can look crazy. All right, so why it works. Essentially, all conversion factors are equal to 1. Notice if I divide by this, and we know that when we multiply, when we multiply anything by 1, it stays the same, right? So that goes away. So the 1 equals 1 pound over 4, 5, 3.59 grams. Okay, it works essentially because everything is equal to 1 that we're using. All right, another key concept is all units, all units, you treat them just as you do as you do numbers. Okay? And to convert this to centimeters cubed, box us off. Box us off. We know what one decimeter one decimeter is. So let's convert it to centimeters. It's ten centimeters. Okay? Then cube that. Then three cube out there. Alright? Then here, let's run through this guy real quick. Eight point five pounds. Okay. Per quart. All right. I want to use the. I want to use our conversion factors and cancel this out. So I need to put pounds down here. Okay. And in order to do that, I, I move the pounds over here. One pound over four, five, three point five nine grams. Pounds are gone. Boom. Done with. Next one. I want to get. I need my quarts here. So I want quarts on top. I need to move this over there to get my quarts on top. Okay. Six, seven quarts. Alright, boom, boom, those are gone. Now I need to keep moving, so I need to move these over here, right? I need to move these over here. And so I can get my liters on top, because I want to cancel my liters. One decimeter cubed, and as we've seen up top, one decimeter cubed. We can multiply that by, multiply that by uh, one decimeter cubed, we put. We use the conversion factor that we just derived up there, where we put our box around here, boom, boom, like that. So one decimeter cubed is equal to 10 centimeters cubed. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.